Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show with your hosts, Lee Silber and Ellen Goodwin. This podcast is short, fun, and jam-packed with good ideas that you can start using right away. And here's your host, Lee and Ellen. Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show. I'm your host, Ellen Goodwin, along with my co-hosts. Hi, Ellen. It's Lee. Hi, Lee. How are you? Excellent. Fantastic. Um, I thought today we would talk about standing on the shoulders of giants. Well, I'm not very tall, so I'm always having to stand on the shoulders <laughs> of someone. Well, it's a fantastic song that I really enjoy, standing on the shoulders. They might be giants. Um, I think that we can always learn from other people and use that as a shortcut to get to where we want to be. Why, let, you know, they've already done the heavy lifting. Let's just go behind them. Follow in their wake. And I, I've said this before, so if I'm repeating myself, I apologize. But um, where I am today, I owe it all to Jimmy Buffett. Not the bad stuff. <laughs> the good stuff. <laughs> Because I've always said, what would Jimmy Buffett do? And, you know, he and I have similarities. Also, both not very tall, both (laughs) Capricorn. I mean, I could go on. But I always looked at him as an example of what I wanted to be. But I don't want to be Jimmy Buffett, but I use him as an example of what's possible. I like that. I like that. Because, yeah, somebody's done what you want to do. Oh, in a much bigger way. (laughs) Yes, in a much bigger way. (laughs) But I know, like, with my business, there's things that I want to learn. I look at people that have done what I want to do and kind of, you know, backtrack and see what they did. And what I've learned is a really great thing. And I'm not just saying this because we have a podcast. But if you go back and you find someone that you, you know, you want to learn from, Look at their old podcast interviews, not their podcast, but when they've been interviewed by people because they're so much more open than if somebody wrote something down. They're just like they start chatting and they're like, oh, and I screwed this up and this is how I changed it. And and a little light bulb goes on and I go, hmm, pay attention. I agree. I mean, there's the there's the people that you can meet. So I signed up with the Service Corps Retired Executives. Mm hmm. Years ago. And, and what's the shortcut for that? Score. Right. <laughs> I'm you. like, it took me a second. Well, I'm like, who are they? Well, I didn't want to say score. I scored because that doesn't sound good. But uh, <laughs> Joseph has been my mentor for years and years and years. And really? He's somebody that just tells you how it is. So you don't waste time. It's more efficient when someone says, you know what? That's, I, I don't think that's a great idea. I honestly think you can do better. He always Ooh. said, you know what? I use a baseball analogy. This is what Joseph taught me. You know, you're always trying to hit singles, Lee. And that's great. You should take, you know, make small accomplishments and they add up to big results. But on the other hand, you got to swing for the fences once in a while. I never would have known that without him. I would have been smaller. <laughs> you would have been a, you would have still been in legal, Little League without being in the Big League. Exactly. And then there's the mentors that you can't meet, but you would ask yourself, well, what would Steve Jobs do if he had my job? What would Einstein do if he was in my situation? Or what would... Jimmy Buffett do. And so I've had, and this sounds, I know this sounds crazy, but I have had <laughs> conversations with people I've always wanted to meet and ask them, you know, what would I do? And then I would use their voice. Oh, you do, are you doing this in your head? Yes, in my head. But I actually say it out loud. Okay. But okay. Vince, it should say this, but you should do something that, you know, you do the, <laughs> but back and forth. And I'm telling you, just talking it out, me talking it out, mm-hmm. they don't answer, which That's the crazy part. When they start answering me. Then we've got issues. So you can have a real mentor and you can have a virtual mentor. But either way, someone that's shown you how it's done and shown you how it's done so that you can do it faster. Yeah. Yeah. I have a friend that does, has his own like mental board of directors made up just like you're talking about of famous people. And, And he'll do this when he meditates. He'll like. I'm going to my board of directors and, and bringing stuff. So it's a different kind of meditation. It's kind of guiding himself. But, you know, he, he says he gets the ideas from these people that, you know, we've imbued them with, the, you know, we know that they're important or they're successful or they've got the ideas that we need. And then they come to you. You know, we're going to talk about this in a future episode, but jumping ahead. It used to be you'd buy a book on how to fix something or how to do something. Now you go to YouTube and an expert's showing exactly. you. Exactly. And that that just just them showing it to you is a shortcut because oh, yeah. I can read about it, but if I don't see it, uh-huh. I don't get it. So it's almost like you have this this whole panel of experts at your fingertips, at your disposal when you need them. 
Right, right. YouTube is one of the biggest search engines out there because you go to YouTube and you can put in, you know, how do I do this? And somebody's done it. It might be an 11-year-old kid that like, hey, this is my video of how to do it. And you're like, that's genius. Exactly. So stand on the shoulders of giants. Look at what people have done before you when you're trying to do something. Make it efficient. Don't recreate the wheel. Yeah, I agree with that. (laughs) Thanks for joining us. Come back again next week for another episode of the Faster, Easier, Better Show.